I'm painting this view from the Cornwall Coast Path today in watercolor and I've already started with a sketch that I've done in colored pencil and I'm starting to uh, lay down uh, with watercolor the ocean in a blue-green mix and a bit of uh, cerulean blue, so cerulean and taylor green. And I'm painting the beach in this um, almost white yellow. So this is a bit of raw sienna mixed with gouache white. And I'm just laying in these shapes and these forms very quickly. So I'm painting on cotton paper here, which allows for a lot of manipulation of the paint layer before it has dried so I can go back and drop in more paint for example this sort of green tint that the ocean has near the coast. Now I'm adding in the cliffs with a bit of raw umber and sepia and at this stage I'm trying to keep everything very loose very uh, only indicate uh, where I see darks and I'm using the tip of my dagger brush here. Adding in a bit of red, a bit of um, burnt sienna. You can see this uh, ocean area still isn't completely dry so I'm able to add in more blue and a bit of green which adds more depths immediately. I'm mixing sap green and taylor green for the bushes and the meadow that I was standing on when, when I took this photo. And you can see at this stage everything just blends together. So I'm using big brush strokes, trying to preserve a bit of texture by dragging the brush. Now that the first layer has dried and you can see there was a little bit too much water around the cliff area, I can go back in with burnt sienna and add in the darker parts, the red parts that uh, make up the shadows and redefine these a little bit more. And immediately it starts to look like a three-dimensional shape, at least for me, I think um, it helps a lot to define what this cliff looks like. I'm also adding in a few smaller rocks with the tip of my brush here. Mixing the different earth tones that I have in my palette. By the way, if you're interested which colors are in my palette, I'll leave a link below and you can read all about that. And now I'm going in with my neutral gray, my dark tone, to add in these shadows where there are sort of these cave entrances or these um, dark regions between the rock, the creases. And I'm trying to do all of this with a big brush. This will prevent me from trying to add too much detail at this stage. You can see I can get pretty nice thin strokes with a big brush too. So these dagger brushes actually have um, a lot of versatility. And with the tip of my brush I'm adding different leaf forms to the foreground. And the key to get real looking foliage is to keep it all a bit random. So now the second layer has dried and I'm actually using my white to lighten up a few of these cliff areas, the so top of these areas. And I know I will go back and add some color over this layer, but still want to, to loosen up a few of these areas and make them lighter. Adding a bit of the 
the white on the ocean, so the surf. And I'm switching to my rigger brush at this point. Adding waves, adding the surf. Just a bit to make these large colored areas a bit more interesting. I'm switching to a smaller round brush to add more rocks on the sand. You can see I'm dabbing in the paint with my finger and smear it around a little bit when I think it's uh, too detailed. So I'm using raw sienna and a bit of transparent yellow to redefine these shadow areas, these creases in the rocks. And bit by bit I can see that they are gaining three-dimensionality. So this actually looks like an entrance to cave now and not just like a dark splotch on the page. Adding more burnt sienna, more red to some areas here. So the speed of this video is actually two times faster than I was painting it. And for the foreground, I'm trying to add these sort of grassy areas with a little bit of grass texture. And I'm redefining the rocks and the base of the cliffs with burnt sienna. And this really helps to give it more three-dimensionality now. So I'm dabbing in raw sienna into the foreground because I want it to come even closer, to be warmer and closer. And I'm working over a few parts of the beach that I thought uh, should be lighter. Now I'm using my colored pencil to add more small areas, more small strokes. Um, I can really find edges with this. So this is a probably a sepia or dark brown. And I can add in smaller rocks and make these creases look a bit darker. And this helps the entire painting a lot, I think. There are some plants growing directly on the cliffs, clinging onto the rock. And now I'm going in with white gouache paint to add a few highlights and then switching back to my colored pencil to add dots and strokes here and there. So I'm switching through quite a few colors here, a few different greens, different browns, I'm deepening the shadows one last time. And now with the rigger brush, I'm adding in a bit of texture to the rocks. So I'm using a dry brush method here, adding texture to the cliffs. And at this stage, I'm removing my masking tape. So the sketch is basically finished just using my rigger brush for a last few strokes of white on the ocean surface and redefining the surf um, one last time. The last thing I'm doing is I'm using a middle brown colored pencil to uh, make the shadow areas a bit warmer. And that's basically it. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, then give me a like or subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or want to see something specific, then let me know below in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, happy sketching.